Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be editing a whole YouTube video on the 2020 iPad Pro. Unfortunately, my MacBook Pro stopped working for some reason, so uh, I am actually editing this video that you're watching also on the iPad Pro. So here we go. All right, first things first, I got my SSD over here. This has all of the files that I want to transfer over to my iPad Pro and get started with editing the video. Okay, so to transfer all the files from my SSD to my iPad Pro, I'm going to be using a USB Type-C to a USB Type-C cable. After connecting it, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Files app and wait for the G drive to pop up on the left side where it says Location. So, uh, yep, you can see G Utilities, and uh, there should be also another drive that's gonna that should pop up. Um, yep, right there. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And then go to, I think, uh, Clips. And then uh, select the files that I want to transfer to my iPad. Once I've selected all of the videos, I'm going to go to the bottom left side of the iPad. And where it says Share in that blue text, I'm going to tap on that. And then hit Save Videos. So what this is going to do is save all of the videos in the Photos app. Okay, so this is kind of weird. There's no pop-up or any indication or like a progress bar showing me when the videos are going to be done transferring all I can do is open up the camera app and just wait for all of the videos to load up now the next thing I'm going to do is connect an adapter card and transfer all the videos from my SD card to the iPad finally I can go ahead and open up a video editing app of my choice and for this video I'm going to be using iMovie since it's free and it's simple LumaFusion looked nice but it costs 30 bucks so here I am about to select all of my videos that I want to edit. After I'm done selecting all of the videos, now I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Movie at the bottom, and this is going to import all of the videos into the timeline. Depending on how I'm making the video, so if I have a script or if I don't have a script, I plan the video accordingly. So this time, I don't have a script, I'm just going to be recording my voice as I go, and then after I'm done recording my voice, I'm going to align up the video with my audio. So here you can see I'm recording my voice with the iPad Pro's microphone. Um, I can connect my Blue Yeti to this using a USB Type-C cable, but I chose not to since uh, I'm editing this video and creating this video with the iPad Pro. But if you are interested in seeing a video where I use the Blue Yeti and other accessories with the iPad Pro to create a video, I have made a separate video for that. Uh, it's called the iPad Pro 2018 Review. And if you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the links I mean in the bio so here i'm aligning the videos with the audio and uh, after that's done i added some effects like uh, sliding effects and things like that as you can see now it's time to create a thumbnail first things first i went ahead and opened up the photos app and chose a photo that was worthy of being a thumbnail next i went ahead and opened up pixart in this app i use it to edit the photo a little and add some cool effects and texts and that's about it the video is finished the thumbnail is finished and the last step is to upload it to YouTube well that about wraps up this video if you enjoyed this video you know what to do and uh, there's gonna be part two coming soon so stay tuned peace